Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I promised you I would get a three looks, one palette video up with the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. So I create three looks, nothing too crazy. All of the looks that I did today were very simple to do. It allowed me to play with a few of the colors that I haven't yet used. I promised you guys I would update you on my thoughts on this palette. So I create three beautiful looks for today's video. If you want to see my tutorials, then just keep watching. So for this first look, I haven't yet used the color Swing, so this is going to be the star of the show for this one. I want to keep this one kind of a, like a mauve purple look. We're going to go in with Andy using this Olimar Cosmetics crease brush. I love this shade. It was just made for purple looks, and you can see it pulls quite vibrant on the skin. Much more lilac-y than I was anticipating, which I am not mad about at all. How pretty is that? I'm using a Sonia G Soft Defense finer on my lower lash line as well. Next we're gonna go in with Swing. I'm using a rougher number 28 brush. I'm gonna put this all over the eyelid. This is one of the shades that I have not yet used so I'm gonna do a little mini review on this shade right here. It's giving me a good amount of pigment as you can see and it looks great for a smoky eye. I am getting some fallout on the cheek but nothing crazy. I haven't set my face though so hopefully <laughs> This will uh, come off. I'm going to take a crease brush from Refer. This is a 14. And we are blending out those edges. And it's creating this soft, hazy, smoky eye. And it almost looks like I put a darker shade in the crease when this is blended out. It looks really pretty. Worked out really well. It held its color on the eyelid. Let's see if I can swipe off. Not bad, I can always go over with more foundation or concealer if need be. Also gonna run swing along the lower lash line. Taking some of Vivian on the corner of my crease brush and I'm gonna use this to help blend out the edges. Just like this. See how that makes it look more blended? Clean up right here, I'm not sure what happened. Taking some of Rebellion now and we're gonna do this to add a little bit of extra definition in the outer corner. BK Beauty 207, we are taking Mod. This is a matte cream color, and I'm just gonna lighten up the inner corner right here underneath the brow bone. Amazing. I'm gonna do liner and lashes, and I will show you the final look. Here's the first look. I went pretty dramatic with the eyeliner since we did a deep purple smoky eye. Also, I'm wearing these aquamarine lashes from Sephora Collection. They're, they're terrible. I don't recommend them, but here is the first look. While we're waiting for this lash glue to dry, let's do the second eye. Now, I wanted to do an all matte look. I don't know, there's like awesome textures in here, but I wanted to do a look that involved mod right here all over the lid. That's what we're gonna do. I haven't decided what way. Okay, I'm starting off with Go Go. And in this look, I also just want to demonstrate to you how awesome her cream to powder formula is. You can see we're getting zero fallout here. I'm gonna leave this portion of my lid pretty color free. So you'll see when I'm blending it up here, I'm leaving the inner part of my eye very, very open. Normally I tend to go lower with my crease color, but I'm keeping it high for this look. Gogo is gorgeous, okay. Okay, this is not a cream to powder, but I want to use Amora just because it looks like it's gonna be a good shade. It's actually Amara, not Amora, but anyways, this is the kind of vibe that I'm going for. So we're going to just put it in the outer corner and blend it outwards. See how I'm like pulling it out. You can always clean it up with some concealer or foundation, whatever you choose. And I'm not going too far in with this color, no matter how much I want to blend it inwards. Blending outwards only. Going in with Go Go again, we're just running this along the lower lash line, particularly focusing it in the outer half, but I did bring it a little bit in the inner half. Gosh, this lash glue is taking forever to dry. And then Amara, really gonna focus in this outer corner. And this shade only gets blended outwards, not inwards. Might feel a little weird doing that, but that's how we gotta do it for this look. 
With a rougher 28 brush, I'm going into Mod. I want that really clean, bright, open-eyed look. So I'm filling up even the inner crease with that color and get that lid space. I'm gonna really open up the eye. Oh my God, how good does this look? And also fill her up down here, inner part of the lower lash line. See how this eye shape is so different from this eye shape just by simply using eyeshadow. Next, we're gonna use Vivian. This is going in the center of the lid. This has a little bit more pink to it, so I thought it would be a good kind of bridging color. And then make sure everything looks super blended. And then if we really want to add some definition, which I'm gonna do, let's take some of Opart. And I'm gonna be very careful with my placement for this. I'm using the soft definer brush from Sonia G, and I'm really focusing it more so along the lash line, and then again, Again, pull it out, not in. Same thing down here. Blending brush. I'm not really caring for this wing shape. We just want to blend it just to extend the eye. Listen, you guys know I'm a shimmer girl. I love this look. Okay, that looks even better than I envisioned. I'm gonna do it some liner and lashes and I will show you the final look. Okay, so here is the second eye. You can see I really kept it much brighter than the first eye and I was really excited to do an all matte eye because I've been into all matte looks lately. I've been doing them a lot on my clients. They're just so flattering. And this one gives you the open eye effect. Again, don't buy these lashes, but they look better on this eye. Okay, so for the final look, since the first two looks leaned very purple and mauve I wanted to do something more cool toned and kind of gray, leaning towards that glam palette style of look. So let's get into it. <laughs> We're starting off with the most popular shade in today's video, which is Maude. Absolutely love that she added this highlight shade in here. A lot of times she won't, which is not that big of a deal because we have highlight shades everywhere, but it is quite convenient to have it in this palette. So I'm just using that to highlight my brow. We're using Nude Mauve. The shade is also in the Lila palette, and I'm gonna run this along my crease. This does have that mauve tone to it, but for the most part, once we get the other shades on the eye, it's going to be more gray looking. Don't forget to run this along the lower lash line as well. With a Luxie 229, we're gonna go in with Opart, and we're gonna build up the smokiness in the outer corner. This is the perfect smoky gray color. It doesn't have as much depth as I would probably like, but it is is very very easy to work with so can't complain about that and then don't forget to run this on the outer part of the lower lash line as well and we're gonna blend using a little bit more of mod just to make the look more blended I hadn't used Jude yet so I had to use this it feels absolutely incredible. It's one of her great metallic shades. So creamy, you get so much color. I'm putting this in the rest of my lid on the inner half. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. I'm going to use a brush just to kind of blend this in seamlessly. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this shade. Using the tip of my brush, we're going into Helio. This is like Jude, but it has more warmth to it. I'm going to use this on the inner half of the lower lash line. It's not quite as reflective, but it's really pretty and it's bringing in a nice warm element to the look. So last step, I wanted to show you how Psychedelic worked as a lid topper. And this shade, Jude, is already very shiny, very beautiful, but we're gonna take it up a notch and I'm just using my finger to press Psychedelic. Do you see how much extra oomph that added? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be back. This was a really simple, quick, easy to do look. I didn't want it leaning too purple. I love it. This is the kind of look that I like to wear for every day. So I'll be right back. All right, with a little bit of lash, here is the look. I went very, very simple with liner for this one because you guys know I like shiny. I like glitter. So yeah, here is the final look. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. If you haven't yet checked out my original review, be sure to check it out. I also, of course, have a fourth look to show you guys on that video if you haven't yet seen it. But overall, after now officially using every shade in the palette and using multiple shades multiple times, I still love it. There legitimately is not 
a dud in this palette. If this is a color story that speaks to you and you want to have these kind of colors in the Natasha Denona formula, you won't be disappointed. I really, really enjoy this one and I enjoy the looks that I'm able to create. It's definitely a palette with a color story that is very in tune with my specific taste. I enjoyed it a lot. Let me know down below, what was your favorite look? One, two, or three? For me, it's number three. It's wearable, it's smoky, it's cool tone. I love it. But anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.